Kushan, capital of Persia, 5th century BCE. Haman's final solution for eliminating the Jewish people is almost carried out, but the tables were turned. And the Jews killed the ten sons of Haman, scourge of the Jews. And Esther said, if the king sees fit, give the Jews leave to do as today and hang Haman's ten sons on the gallows tomorrow. If Haman's ten sons were already killed, why did Queen Esther ask to have them hanged? The sages say that whenever the word king is written, and not specifically King Xerxes, the reference is to the king of the universe, to God himself. Many years later, it became clear that Esther's tomorrow referred to a next day far in the future. 1945. Germany is vanquished, but the Nazis' final solution systematically murders six million Jews. When the war ends, leading Nazi criminals were put on trial in Nuremberg. Eleven of them were sentenced to death, normally carried out by firing squad or electric chair, but surprisingly the court decides that they would be hanged. Julius Stryker, death by hanging. Goering, death by hanging. A few hours after sentencing, Goering commits suicide, leaving ten remaining war criminals for execution by hanging. Esther asked for ten, and ten remain. October 1946, the criminals are hanged one by one. Among them was Julius Streicher, described as the Jews' number one enemy. CBS News reports from the scene. We all expected that sometime during the procedure, the shout Heil Hitler would ring out. Wild-eyed Jubater Julius Streicher bellowed out that greeting and followed it as he climbed the 13 stairs with the word, Now I go to God. Purim Festival 1946 and now to God. Astonishingly, the Book of Esther has a strange anomaly. The names of Haman's sons are traditionally written with three smaller sized letters, spelling out the Shahs the numerical equivalent of the year 1946, the year that the 10 Nazi war criminals were hanged. <laughs>